things that attract poverty to your home and what you should avoid. It's a pleasure to welcome you back to the Path to Wisdom channel. Today, we're going to explore an ancient practice that can bring more health and prosperity to our homes. According to the wisdom of our ancestors, there are certain objects that may be blocking our energies and hindering our well-being. I'm here to guide you through seven items that it would be best to remove from your homes to pave the way for a fuller and more abundant life. Have you ever stopped to think that there are things that attract poverty to your home? Having a harmonious and prosperous environment is the desire of many of us. After all, our home should be our sanctuary where we truly feel comfortable and at peace. According to Feng Shui, a practice that seeks to balance our living space with the world around us. There are certain aspects that, unnoticed, may be blocking abundance and attracting scarcity into our lives. So I invite you to get to know these elements and identify them so you can take action and rid yourself of everything that attracts poverty to your home. Before we continue, in the description of this video, you'll find the link to our online store, where you can explore our clothing line designed for those seeking self-awareness and spiritual growth. Waste no time and start your transformation journey today. Now, let's move forward. Lifeless plants symbolize stagnation and lack of vitality. It's better to get rid of them and replace them with healthy plants that bring life and freshness to your home. Besides causing sadness and discouragement in the environment, Keeping lifeless plants or anything clearly deteriorating goes against the energy of prosperity and should be eliminated from the space. So, dedicate yourself to caring for plants so they remain lush and beautiful for a long time. For centuries, plants have been symbols of life and vitality, but it may be surprising to discover that when they die, they can carry negative energies. It's believed that lifeless plants are not only aesthetically unpleasant, but can also attract poverty and illness to the home. This belief has roots in the ancient wisdom of various cultures, which attribute to plants a power beyond the visual. Many cultures consider that, when alive and healthy, plants transmit positive energy, purifying the air and attracting prosperity. However, when they die, this energy reverses, attracting negative vibrations that can affect the health and financial well-being of the inhabitants of the environment. Therefore, it's highly recommended to avoid having lifeless plants at home and instead cultivate an environment of care and vitality with healthy and vibrant plants. This will not only contribute to maintaining a physically healthier home, but will also help create an atmosphere of positivity and prosperity that benefits everyone living there. Let's take a brief pause for me to express my excitement about everything that's happening with you and to remind you that I want to include you in my next video. Would you like to receive a special mention? Comment below and I'll do it gladly. Also, I'm seeking suggestions for new video topics on rituals and wisdom, what subjects would you like me to cover in the upcoming content? Your opinions are extremely valuable to me. That said, let's continue. Accumulated items. Having many things accumulated is a sign of stagnant energy and hinders the proper flow of things. Maintaining balance at home and in all areas of life, including financial, is crucial and excess objects in the home can significantly impact our health and financial well-being. Over time, accumulating items can create an environment conducive to poverty and even health problems. Physical clutter is not only problematic, but can also disrupt our energies, negatively affecting our quality of life. Moreover, excessive accumulation can have a significant financial impact. Spending money on unnecessary or duplicate items can result in poor financial management, leading to debts and financial difficulties. Additionally, storing many items can generate additional costs, such as higher utility bills or the need for extra storage space. 
All this can contribute to a stressful cycle of poverty and anxiety, which can be difficult to overcome. Therefore, it's crucial to be aware of what we're accumulating in our homes and practice detachment regularly. By reducing the number of things we own and maintaining an organized environment, we can create a space that promotes health and prosperity. This allows us to release energy and resources to focus on what truly matters in life, such as our relationships, our health and our overall well-being. Damaged items. There is an ancient belief that broken objects attract negative energy and may even bring poverty into the home. Therefore, it is crucial to get rid of anything that is damaged or broken. This idea that broken objects can attract poverty and illness is rooted in various cultural traditions throughout history. According to this perspective, damaged objects not only indicate a deteriorated physical state, but also represent an imbalance in the energies of the home. The presence of these items can block the flow of positive energy. Stopped clocks, in some cultures and traditions, Non-functioning clocks are seen as more than mere timing devices. They are attributed a deeper symbolic meaning. It is believed that stopped or malfunctioning clocks can attract negative energy into a home, potentially resulting in poverty and illness. This belief is based on the idea that inactive or broken objects can represent stagnation and blockage in the lives of the people who own them. The presence of a stopped clock can be interpreted as an interruption in the flow of time, something commonly associated with progression and forward movement. In this context, stopped clocks are considered magnets for attracting negative circumstances, such as financial difficulties and health problems. While these beliefs may vary according to cultural traditions and individual perspectives, the idea that inactive objects can influence the energy of the environment is not entirely baseless. Many spiritual practices and philosophies emphasize the importance of maintaining a clean and organized environment to promote holistic well-being. Ultimately, the decision to keep or discard a stopped clock at home depends on the personal beliefs and values of each individual. And before we continue, I would like to remind you that in the description of this video, you will find the direct link to our online store where you can explore our clothing line designed for those seeking self-awareness and spiritual growth. Don't waste time. Start your transformation. Explore our clothing line in the description link and find pieces that will inspire you on your spiritual journey. Join us and start your transformation today. Now, let's move on. Damaged appliances. Damaged appliances may seem like simply useless or annoying objects in our homes. However, according to ancient wisdom and some popular beliefs, they have a deeper impact on our lives than we might imagine. It is believed that these defective devices not only represent physical obstacles in our daily routines, but can also influence our emotional, financial and physical well-being in various cultural and spiritual traditions. It is argued that damaged appliances act as magnets for poverty and disease, attracting negative energies that can disrupt harmony in the home. From a more spiritual or energetic perspective, it is believed that these appliances emit negative vibrations that can imbalance the energy of the domestic environment. It is said that these discordant energies attract negative influences that can manifest as illnesses, financial difficulties, and interpersonal conflicts. Instead of being merely inanimate objects, defective appliances are considered channels for the flow of these negative energies, creating an environment that is not conducive to health and prosperity. Therefore, avoiding having damaged appliances at home is not just about maintaining a functional physical environment, but also about protecting the emotional, financial and physical well-being of those who live there. Stolen or inherited objects with negative energy, objects obtained dishonestly or inherited with negative energy, 
represent a deeply rooted concept in various cultures and spiritual traditions. According to these beliefs, items acquired illicitly or laden with negative emotions can have a detrimental impact on the energy of a home. It is believed that these objects act as magnets for negativity, attracting a range of undesirable consequences from financial problems to health issues. From a spiritual perspective, it is argued that stolen objects carry a negative energy charge due to the very act of their acquisition, imbued with dishonesty and integrity violation. Similarly, inherited objects with negative energy may contain traces of the negative emotions of their previous owners, such as resentment, anger or suffering, which may persist in the object and affect those around it. Therefore, it is recommended to avoid having stolen or inherited objects with negative energy at home. Instead, people are encouraged to dispose of these objects properly, whether by returning them to their rightful owners, donating them, or getting rid of them responsibly. By freeing themselves from the burden of these objects, space is created for positive energy and pathways for health and prosperity in the home are opened. The power of our environment to influence our lives is undeniable. Through the conscious elimination of objects that do not serve us and the creation of a space that promotes harmony and positivity, we can open doors to a life of health and prosperity. I invite you to join me on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Do not underestimate the impact that small changes in your home can have on your overall well-being. So, go ahead, take action today and start building the home of your dreams. Remember, the power is in your hands. I hope the information shared here may have been helpful and inspiring for you. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more videos on spiritual growth and self-discovery, please leave your like, subscribe to the Path to Wisdom channel, and don't forget to comment below what you thought of this video. Thank you for being here and for being part of this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Until the next video.